It's Monday morning, it's 5.53, 5.54. Let's spend the week together. It is so cold. I'm a little bit late to the game, but I literally tried Pilates for the very first time, like two weeks ago. And it has been so fun. Just like something different. I want to do a 15 minute full body, equipment free, intermediate level Pilates class this morning. Wish me luck. <laughs> Quarter to seven, it is time to go to work. Here's my OOTD. Kia ora. I have a very important task of putting dinner in the oven. We're having lamb. What's well, it lamb to me? So that's gonna go in the oven. Stunning. I just got home and I'm gonna go and do a workout. And that sounds silly to say because you're like, Emma, you literally did Pilates this morning. What are you doing? I'll tell you what I'm doing. I am testing the waters to see if I'm capable of doing 75 hard because I've wanted to do it for a while but I don't want to like completely obliterate myself in the process so I'm just like testing the waters like a few days a week I just like do a couple workouts I only started trying this like last week I also saw that this was waiting for me yes if you're like a OG subscriber from like 2020 then you'll be like wow some body bloom I bought two of them because they had like 30% off because they expire soon this is like a in a health and beauty powder that makes it sound so fancy. I'm just gonna put it in plain, simple terms for you. It helps you poop. Welcome to the gym. I've decided I'm gonna do full body. I'm gonna start with lower body, finish with upper body. Bang is only in my ear for this week. Workout is done and it is 10 past 5 and mum told me to put the veggies on at 5 o'clock so let's prepare the veggies together. Potatoes, parsnips, pumpkin and some asparagus. I was just thinking if you have like, just gonna pull it out. This is asparagus. Is this an asparagus? I'm just making some overnight oats to take to work tomorrow morning because since I start work at 7 a.m. it kind of makes more sense when I eat breakfast when I get there. I didn't have the normal yogurt that I get. I saw this one, limited edition, Central Otago Black Doris Plum. Oh, that's good. Yeah, try some of this. Mm, it's good. I think it looks like it's a $10 pot. Yeah, $10.49. <laughs> My breakfast order for tomorrow. Oats, chia seeds, maple syrup, milk, Blueberries, strawberries, yogurt, and biscoff. Dinner. Also, I actually have a genuine question to ask. Did we, or did we not, eat our lambs growing up? I've always wondered what happened to them. Nah, we didn't. We didn't? Okay, good. I can sleep tonight. Good morning from me and my body bloom. I used to take this like every day in like year 13 and first year of uni. I'm a little bit nervous to taste it because I feel like it's gonna transport me right back to that time of my life, which was slightly traumatic. It is half past five. I did snooze my alarm for like 20 minutes this morning. Bible study time. I was having a very fun day at work today. <laughs> it's the high biz for me. It's 8.30, so I've been at work for an hour and a half already, but I'm off to do a little job. I'm playing courier driver today. I am going to drop off some stuff in the city, so I'm gonna be out of the office for a couple hours. Gosh, have I just found a spot that my camera can sit while I'm driving? You're like, Emma, you're in the car, in a different outfit. What's going on here? Did my little courier job that was actually so chill. I just had to go and drop some stuff off and then come back to the office. Go back to the office at 12 and then did a couple hours work. And then it was time for team building. So twice a week, we go to the gym for an hour. So that's where I've just been, but I also finished work at three so my work day is now done <laughs> and I'm now going to my Nana's house which I spoke about a couple of vlogs ago about how we're getting the house ready to sell and it's been in the, in the family for 70 years I'm honestly a bit upset about it not gonna lie but that's okay it's not my house I'm going over there now to meet mum and dad who've been there all day mum wants my help with some styling because we're gonna be like getting real estate photos taken shortly. Just gonna dust off my interior design diploma from 2018. Honestly, I actually get embarrassed to say that I have an interior design diploma because looking at me, you you wouldn't think that I do. The spaces in my life are not a representation of my qualifications, put it that way. Mum's heading off away for work tonight for a few nights. So it's just dad and I. So I've been to the supermarket and bought some supplies to tie us over for the week. Oh, we have a different colored front door. How are you? What's going on here? Just doing a bit of painting, you know? <laughs> what happened to the door? I decided to try something different. And what's your, what are your, what are you thinking? Are you going to keep it like this or are you going to make it white again? No, no it's going to be dark. It's going to be contrast colour. Welcome to the home gym. 
just momentarily. I'm not doing a workout. I just want to show you something that I bought today. As I was saying, I'm dabbling in Pilates at the moment. And a lot of the Pilates workouts call for light dumbbells. The lightest dumbbells I have are little three kilo ones, which in and of themselves are very light. But when you're pulsing and doing like a zillion reps, it's really humbling. So I was like, okay, I actually need to go and get some proper, proper light dumbbells. Went to Kmart, got myself some little one kilo little besties here. I need to have a shower, but I've just put a treatment in my scalp for my psoriasis. So I have to wait an hour before I can have a shower. It's already been half an hour. I need to find an outfit for something I'm doing tomorrow. So let's go upstairs and chat about that. I'm going to an event. Well, I say event. It's event, yes, but also kind of no. It is a Dear Community event, which is my friend Hannah's charity. And she's invited me to come, so I'm going for free, which I'm incredibly grateful for. It is like a healthy eating night with a couple of healthy eating experts. It's kind of like semi-formal, so I'm thinking like a midi dress is going to be the vibe. I said blazers, but I don't actually own a blazer. This is my dress portion of the wardrobe. So like I can't say that I haven't got anything to wear because I clearly do. I probably should put on some fake tan for this but maybe I should. Tan is on, PJs are on, we are marinating. I just put it on instantly I just feel like I've just lived through a whole summer. For dinner I'm having a wrap and we have some chips and air fry which are our air fries a little bit broken so they're a little bit crispy. What are you having for dinner? I'm having leftover roast, uh, what are we going to have? Roast lamb. Lamb shank and roast vegetables. Look at this. Beautiful. 9.26 p.m. and I got a little bit carried away editing the vlog, but I got it done. I've just sent it over to the group chat so the girls, because they're all in it, so they can like make sure they're okay with it before it goes to the internet. The camera does not do that justice. That is absolutely stunning. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. It's like 20 past 6. I need to go have a shower and go to work, but I'll see you guys afterwards. Good afternoon. Five minutes to four. I'm gonna go and do some Pilates. I don't know why I should like pil Pilates. I'm so tired right now. <laughs> I have a bit of a headache, which is not ideal because I am going out tonight. I'm gonna go move my body and hopefully that'll help too because I've been sitting in an office all day. I'm keen to try out my little one kilo dumbbells. I feel so humbled right now. <laughs> why is one kilo so hard? Free parking. Free parking. Free parking. So I can show you. That Great. The vlog is here. The vlog is here. I didn't make the last one. Maybe. I didn't want to watch it. I would have got Did sad. not. <laughs> We've arrived. We're like half an hour early though. If you watch my previous vlog as well, you'll be so thrilled to know. My maps oh, yeah. are fixed. They're working. They were, we were just driving here and they just started working again. And I was like, yay. Tasia was with me when they broke. So you mm. understand my struggle. I will no longer be in Japan when my friends check my location. <laughs> <laughs> my fault for stalking you. <laughs> yeah. I just need to know. No spoilers. Is this better lighting? Wait. Oh, 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 hello. Oh, wait. That's off. Wait. I didn't <laughs> realize there was so many lights. <laughs> so, okay. Can you hurry up? Yeah, okay. Pull the first thing out. What is it? Oh, why are we pull out the same thing? Here we go. Oh, this is her protein powder. Oh. Healthy Kelsey's protein powder. Yum. Yum. What flavor is yours? Double oh, no. chocolate fudge. Salted caramel cookie. Oh, snack. Snack. Oh, mine's. I got chocolate brownie. Can we swap? Mine's a latte one. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much. This is our reference. <laughs> Who needed to win the bingo when, when this is gonna be my breakfast tomorrow? Super berry collagen drink, golden gel recovery mask. Is that what you got? Yes. And a magazine. Cool. It's got puzzles in it. This is perfect for my boredom. Woman in mm. ADHD. Yeah, that is my kind of book. <laughs> that was so much fun. The panel was really interesting actually. I thought they were very wise women. It is time for us to now go home because it is 9.05 p.m. and we're gonna go to Mac. Price. Let's go to Macca's. Hello, welcome to McDonald's. Hiya, could we please get a large 10 piece chicken nugget combo with a iced tea as the drink? Anything else? And also a medium chocolate shake. Do you want to come to a festival? What festival? Lamewood? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I asked this if I'd be interested anyway. I like this girl called Olivia Dean. She sings that version of You can hurry love, you just have to wait. Why well, do I need to go when I can see you sing it? True. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Rise and Good morning. It is 6.30. Last night was so much fun, but the motorway was shut on the way home, and so it took us an hour and a half to get home. And oh my days. I'm a little bit tired, but that's okay. I'm home from work, but I came home to this huge package 
which is apparently fragile. This looks like it's got new world. Gold winning, oh, gold winning wines inside. They did not get the memo that I don't drink. <laughs> This is quite funny. This is gonna be hilarious because I'm not gonna know what any of this is. Oh, that comes with crackers. I like the crackers. There's a lot going on in here. Okay, we have olives, crackers, a prosecco, is that how you say it? And sh Shiraz, <laughs> I don't know what that is. I'm very grateful that they thought of me, but they really, honestly, they did not have to. Oh well, I'm sure my mum will appreciate it. I'm back. I ended up sending it to 5Ks. That's the longest run that I've done since my half, literally in April. I've been back for my run for like an hour and I'm still like burning, like it is so hot. It is time to make some dinner. I'm gonna be cooking out of this book. Shout out to Lauren, this is Lauren's book. She is a bit of balance, but it has a really good recipe in here. Teriyaki tofu, nourish bowl is what we're gonna have for dinner. Shout out to whoever put the soy sauce back in the fridge. I'm not gonna lie, that was actually probably me. Dinner is cooking. We have the tofu looking a little bit Chargirl. Clean asparagus, ready to go on the steamer. Some salad to go with it. Here's dinner, looks a bit random. Tofu, broccoli, lettuce, asparagus, <laughs> and rice underneath. Good morning, happy Friday. I'm so excited that it's Friday. I'm down in the garage gym because we're gonna do a little bit of Pilates this morning. I don't know why I say it like that, Pilates. Pilates, Pilates. Got my trusty little kick app here, it's so good because you can like filter it. I've only got like 20 minutes this morning. Whole body burner with dumbbells, 22 minutes, let's go. Time to pack my lunch. I have my breakfast, my overnight oats, a nut bar, some bliss balls, an orange and a banana. For lunch, I have leftover Oh my gosh, my brain is not functioning this morning. I have leftover teriyaki tofu from last night, which by the way was absolutely delicious. I am home! It is the weekend. I am so excited. This week has been so busy at work. And now I just get to chill out for like two days. I'm gonna go and do a little strength session because I have so much energy right now. I would go for a run, but it is so hot. Work was actually kind of fun today. Two really cool things happened. Firstly, the cafe down the road that does Donut Friday every Friday. The donut today was strawberry matcha flavored. I've never actually had matcha. It was really good, they really enjoyed that. And then Shana and I in the office, we're both into F1 and we're like, we need to get the TV set up because the F1 race is at eight o'clock on Monday morning. And it's also Liam's debut, so we want to see it. And normally I just sit my phone up and watch it at work, but we're like, we kind of all want to watch it. So we dragged out like the big conference room TV. I'm trying to like get back into writing my sessions down because I stopped for a bit and it's really annoying because then I don't know what I've done and what I haven't. Three sets of each exercise, eight reps each set and we're gonna give ourselves 45 to 60 seconds rest doing eight reps because that is like if you're looking to like develop strength then like four to eight reps is like a good rep range but if you're looking to induce muscle growth then you're wanting to be more in like the eight to twelve rep range i'm just going smack bang in the middle of eight i like doing three sets because the first set you're like getting the hang of it second set you're like okay yep cool and then you're like oh i'm over halfway there i've just got one set left whereas if you do four sets Four is a, such a mental battle. I'd rather do more exercises and less sets than do less exercises and more sets. I'm gonna do six exercises. Three upper body, three lower body. I always do this at the start of every upper body session just to see if I can just get one, just one unassisted pull up. So let's try. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna count that. That was stunning. My heart rate just then. Just like, woof. very fun. I'm now making myself a little strawberry protein shake. Just a friendly reminder, Black Friday is like just over a month away. And if you're like me, I use that opportunity to like buy Christmas presents and stuff. This is just your friendly reminder to start making your Black Friday shopping list. I do this every year and it's so helpful because then I don't get overwhelmed when the sales come through and I just know exactly what I want to buy and I just go and buy what I already needed and get it cheaper. The reason I say that is because I want to buy some more of this protein powder when it's on Black Friday sale. So I've added it to my list. I'm gonna go and give the car a little bit of a birthday because I took it to the beach like <laughs> for like a month ago now and we went on this dusty crusty ass road and my car has been disgusting ever since. It just needs a little bit of love so I'm gonna give it a vacuum and a wipe down on the inside and a wash on the outside because it's just not great. It's not great. Also this baby here is 
not great. There's a little before. Honestly, the inside isn't actually too bad. Like, there's just a little bit of sand and stones going on. And the after, which honestly probably doesn't look any different, but it's time to wash the outside before that arrives. And this is the part where it gets fun. Nice and clean. Also, if you're wondering, my Jesus Loves You sticker is holding up so well. It's doing the most right now. Good morning. I've just got back from the gym. I ended up going to my old gym this morning just to do like one class because Tejal goes there. So I'm like, I'll come and we'll do it together. It was really humbling. It was quite hard, but I'm feeling great now at the post-workout endorphins are uh, doing their thing. Welcome back to Nana's house. On today's episode of getting the house ready to go on the market, we're dressing the beds. So this is the bed that we're dressing today. We used to have headboards on it about five minutes ago, but we took them off. This is gonna be the sheet. I have my old bedding from when I was flatting in here. So this bed is about to look like the bed that I used to have when I lived in Hamilton. So that's kind of cute. This is so weird seeing this bed set up again. Being an interior designer for the day is finished. I've now arrived at Matt and Sage's place and I'm picking Sage up to drop her off at the airport. Hey. Where are you going? I'm going to Wellington and yeah. then I'm going to the Marlborough Sounds for three days. <laughs> I'm home. I need to go in like an hour, but I'm oh, actually like for like 45 minutes. But I don't really know what to wear tonight because I'm looking out one window and all I see is like thunder clouds. And then I look out this way and it's blue skies. Is it going to rain? I hope not. But is it going to be cold? I don't know because it's like 22 degrees right now. But I also, we're going out for dinner so I, can't, I don't want to wear my jeans because that's just... No, thank you. I've just asked the group chat. No one has replied. Kind of thinking like denim skirt vibe, cute top. Maybe I just need to try some things on. It's really not that deep. I have an embarrassing confession to make. A couple weeks ago, I spent two hours picking an outfit to wear to church. Two hours. Two whole freaking hours. And you want to know the best part? I ended up wearing the exact same thing that I wore the week prior. <laughs> Okay, this is the first outfit that I've tried on and I actually really like it so this, this is the outfit. This is the outfit of the night. I really don't know what I'm going to put on my feet though. I really need to invest in some like white sandals. I'm going to White Wong's for dinner for Tejal finishing uni. I don't even know if I said that. Yeah. Yeah. We got Morgan. This is my haul. To recondense milk. Yeah. And what's this one? White chocolate. Macadamia white chocolate. What did I you get Tejal? White chocolate. White chocolate macadamia and the blueberry buttermilk scotch whatever that one is. Oh yes. Cake. And I got White chocolate macadamia and butterscotch. Yeah, yeah, I did. I asked you if you that was good. I haven't tried it. This is my first time. Oh. Last night as I was going to bed, I was like falling asleep and I realized I still had my ring on my thumb. And so I was like, oh, I'll turn the light on, get up, put it away, get back into bed. And when I got up, I saw this massive leaf on my floor, like huge leaf. I was like, how the heck could that leaf get inside? And I was like, mm, no, that's not a leaf. That is a cockroach. Cockroach is now under here. I don't know if he's still alive. Considering that cockroaches survived the atomic bomb, I'm gonna assume he probably is. If he was still alive, and now he's back in the back in the bush. Anyway, happy Sunday. We're back at Nana's. I have found myself this cool. Oh no, the thing fell down. Little cane picnic chair. I'm here with my taxidermy beer. Let me show you the office that we set up. This is my dad's childhood bedroom. We have set up a little desk. I'm going to bring like a monitor in to chuck there so that like, people get the idea that this can be like an office. Also bought in this pink throw. The pinks do not match. So I kind of need to do something about that. Looks better. It's got a bit of color. This room in here is still, it's just so weird to see <laughs> this room is set up like the flat in Hamilton. So weird. Come home to collect some very precious cargo that's going to the dump. It is my mirror. This time to say goodbye. Found this when I was cleaning up at Nana's house. I don't know if you guys remember this. This was like an era like 2013, 2014. Little, this is a knockoff EOS or whatever they were called, lip balms. This one actually smells really good, but it'll be at least 10 years old. So I'm just gonna throw it in the bin. But I have like two hours before I need to leave to go to church. So I'm gonna park myself up on the couch, make myself a cup of tea and do some YouTube editing of this video actually. I've had this camera since December, November, like nearly a year. And I've just figured out how to manually change the exposure. I'm not gonna lie, the G7X, we know it holds a special place in my heart, that's old news. But one thing about this stupidly expensive camera is I was like, why is the exposure so out of whack like 90% of the time? Emma, it's because you didn't read the instruction manual and if you just took a second to read the instruction manual then you would learn how to adjust the exposure manually. Also, yes, if you've been here since January, the rooster is still alive. Anyway, here is my church outfit of the evening. I'm going to put my 
converse on my feet. I'm gonna head off in a minute because I have to go and pick up some of the girls on the way, which I'm so excited. It just makes the drive so much more enjoyable when you get to do it with other people. Just Love finished it. at church. I can't even see you in the back row. Oh, here we go. There she is. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi. How was church, guys? So good. Yeah. Very good. It was fantastic. It was Great worship time. moments. Yes. yes. Yeah. Good um, message. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was Anna Carroll speaking. Had you heard her before, had you? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, and her husband Ben, he's so good as well. Yeah. And Uber Emma driving us. Thank we you, are Emma. <laughs> <laughs> Also, these girls had the meanest church nose books to take their nose oh, to church. Oh, I <laughs> stop. We need to do the wee show and tell. <laughs> You're always going to give them false hope, they're silly, because this is a different colour. Because oh. I'm an OG fan. She's an OG fan. <laughs> I feel like they're like half the congregation at our church are gonna slowly get all these notebooks. Yeah, so I, I put one like in my bag and I was like, oh, if like I see someone, like I'll just, and like surely enough, I'll mm. someone to give it to. So I need to like make that a regular thing. Look at her with her manual expo. Oh, wait. Or oh, maybe, it, maybe it's just dark. Anyway, hey, I'm home. I just had dinner. It's literally like 20 to 10. I need to go to bed. But thank you guys so much for joining me this week. I've had so much fun. I hope you have too. But yeah, apart from that, stay safe, stay well. Jesus loves you. And I'll see you in my next video. Liam was a vegetarian. <laughs> That's my double chin. Cute. That's a slow.